Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be breaking down the latest draft news, breaking down all the picks and all the players. Um, before we get started, though, please drop a quick like and a sub. It would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, let's dive right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. So with the Lions now, uh, just picked Panay Sewell. I actually really like this pick a lot for them. He's not going to be left tackle for them. They got Taylor Decker over there. They have Frank Ragnow at center. So their offensive line isn't terrible, uh, but their right tackle position is definitely a position of need for them. And I like what Panay Sewell can bring to that offense. This is a guy that's still a little raw. He also didn't play last year, remember, opted out due to COVID. And I do think that the Lions could have definitely gone out and gotten a wide receiver. But at the end of the day, you need to protect Jared Goff, right? You got Jared Goff, Jared Goff this offseason. And Tyrell Crosby at right tackle, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Sewell is a guy who arguably was one of the top three, four talented players in this draft. I think it was a surprise for a lot of people to see him drop to seven in this situation. I just don't think that was really something that could have happened. Uh, you know, we thought that the Bengals could have gone after him, thought the Dolphins could have gone after him. But nonetheless, it's going to be the Lions getting him. And this is a guy that can really be a powerful run blocker. This is a guy who is a mauler. He has great athleticism, great size, and a unique quickness and just pure strength that sets him apart. He's a little raw, isn't an elite pass catcher. He's a really more of a run focused uh tackle but you know you have to duck around that off the line jonah jacks was actually pretty good last year frank ragnow now you get uh panay sewell you've got some pieces on the on that off the line and then you can maybe go in round two for a wide receiver this is a pretty deep receiver class and i think that there could be some good receivers in the second round so at the end of the day i really like this move here by the lines building up the trenches trenches and really adding to to that to, to the off the line to really help them improve and i think this is you know Take best player available here. I thought Demonte Smith might have been a better fit, especially with losing Galladay, as well as uh, who, who else did they lost? Marvin Jones Jr. But nonetheless, I like Sewell. I think it's going to be a really solid pick for them, and I think he's going to be a standout right tackle, especially as a run blocker for them moving forward, really helping that run game that was pretty poultry last season. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.